Now, dendritic cells are really special. Um, and in fact, are the professionals professional? They are the tiger woods of the antigen presenting cell universe. Why? Because they're by far the most efficient. They can capture almost meaningless and non-existent amounts of antigens and uh, turn, them, turn them, those antigens into uh, small peptides that can stimulate T cell responses. They have the rather unique capacity to be able to capture antigen from wherever in the body that antigen uh, is, is, is first introduced, be it in the skin, in the lung, in the intestine, uh, wherever the antigen is captured. And then uh, it's not simply left to passive transport through the lymphatics to go back to the lymph nodes, but rather these cells are adapted to home into the lymphatics and make a beeline uh, directly into the lymph nodes where uh, the dendritic cells can find um, this acu a huge accumulation of both T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes and help their stimulatory uh, events take place. Perhaps most importantly, dendritic cells are the only cells in the immune system, the only antigen-presenting cell that can actually initiate the antigen-specific immune response. In other words, prior to the advent of the first, first of the first of an antigen's kind coming in, before you very first been, had your very first infection with influenza, you may have T cells that are capable of responding to influenza virus. Uh, but they are naive. They don't really know what to do. Only the dendritic cell can wake them up. Uh, if you delete dendritic cells uh, from a mouse um, uh, using a, a variety of, of genetic knockouts, you find those mice are almost completely incapable of, of mounting uh, antigen-specific immune responses. Why? Because only the dendritic cell can present antigen at a sufficient um, a level of, of efficiency and with a sufficient amount of stimulation provided to the T cell in order to wake the T cell uh, up and uh, get the uh, T cell response going. Now, the other side of the coin here, though, is the issue of tolerance. In the sense that, uh, remember, one of the key abilities of the immune system is to be able to mount virulent cytotoxic responses, protective responses to invading pathogens, but somehow um, minimize, if not avoid entirely, destructive components that are directed against our self uh, antigens, in other words, our own uh, tissues and, and cells. Dendritic cells play also a key role in, in ensuring that our immune system uh, maintains tolerance to self-antigens. Uh, and we'll come back uh, at the very end to discuss some of more recent ideas on how, uh, how we think that takes place. Now, probably though the most important uh, key conceptual element of how the dendritic cell uh, system works and why dendritic cells uh, play such a role that is so important in linking the innate and adaptive response is that like cells of the innate response, innate immune response, dendritic cells can respond to exactly the same types of microbial signals as do the macrophages. Again, by virtue of the fact that they exp express uh, the same classes of toll-like receptors that macrophages do, but instead of, uh, under most circumstances, emitting cytotoxic compounds as a consequence of that, they turn the uh, information and the the advent of microbial pathogens coming into the system into the peptide language that can be understood by T cells, thereby linking the um, uh, activation of, of the uh, adaptive response to the activation of the innate response.